now we have arrived at the last question of this paper 4 finally which is question number 11 make x the subject of the formula uh, which is a minus x is equals to x r over t okay and whenever you want to solve an equation it's uh, it is a good idea to get rid of the denominator as quickly as possible so that it makes it easy okay so there are two ways either I multiply t on both sides or I can say I will cross the t up on the left hand side okay when there is nothing on the denominator we can always assume that there is one okay so t will be crossed up on the left hand side or I can say I can multiply t on both sides it's exactly the same thing okay but what I will end up is with a minus x a minus x times t is equals to x r okay and when I open the bracket I will have a t minus x t is equals to x r okay now I want because the x is because x is the subject of the formula so I want x on one side and the other numbers the other variants or the other variables on the other side so I will take this negative xt to the right hand side on the left it is negative on the right it will be a positive okay so it will be at is equals to xr plus xt okay now x is common in both of them so I will just take it out it will become at is equals to x out which is common it will be r plus t how to know if you have factorized it correctly you can multiply it back see x into r will be x r plus x into t will be x c x t okay so we have done it correctly now this is being multiplied with x and on the other hand side it will be divided okay so our next step will be a t is equals to x and this multiplied r plus t will be divided over here okay it will be r plus t and this is the answer a t over r plus t okay I think those were four easy marks okay so this is why you have to make sure you're not running out of time on question on paper four because you see this last question is actually easier than many which you have uh, come across okay and part b find the value of a and the value of b when x square minus 16 x plus a is is equals to x plus b square now you can see this is a quadratic equation and they have transferred it or transformed it into x plus b squared equation okay and we know that quadratic equation in your syllabus either it can be solved by factorization we do not get anything like that or you solve it by formula again you do not get anything like that although you can but the easier way and this is the classic format of completing the square method and this is what I am going to use okay but let me take the x on one side and our two variables a and b on the right hand side okay so it will be x square minus 16 x oops oops it's 16 it's not 11 16 x is equals to x plus b square minus a now this is my format and if I convert this format into this format the number here will be my b and the number here will will be my a okay now I will use the completing the square method I'm sure you know how, how to do it or if you don't know you can just see this square comes here and we copy the x down plus and then we copy this sign minus actually the x minus x and minus becomes a minus but I just still want to show you and we will take the half of 16 which is 8 and then the root of this number outside always there is a minus sign and outside I will take the square of 8 which is 8 8 is a 64 and the rest is exactly the same thing okay 
now as you can see in this position is my B which is minus 8 isn't it it's minus 8 let me write it minus 8 and in this position the formula was minus a minus a and my answer is minus 64 okay it is not minus 64 why because minus is from the formula it is not the a a is after minus and this is 64 so it is 64 okay and it is done last part of the last question it is C right as a single fraction in its simplest form and even this type of this type of a question was there on paper 2 so it is not as difficult okay so whenever we have to add or subtract a fraction the base should be exactly the same so we have to make the base same or the denominator we have to make it same how we can do that 6 doesn't have the denominator x 3x minus 2 so we will give him by multiplying 3x minus 2 but we cannot multiply only the denominator to make it balanced to balance the fraction we have to multiply also up okay and same thing with the 5 the 5 doesn't have a denominator x minus 2 so we will supply him x minus 4 I meant sorry x minus 4 but just not only on the denominator but also on the numerator to make it and balance okay to balance the fraction now this will become 6 times 3 is 18x minus 2 times 6 is minus 12 minus 5 times x is minus 5x mine uh, and then 5 times minus minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20 okay and then we will have a common base because we both of these bases will be exactly the same we can have it under a common base okay this will be 3x minus 2 the other one was x minus 4 okay now we can just simplify this one very easy x with the x 18x minus 5x is 13x and then minus 12 plus 20 is plus 8 okay and this is my base which is 3x minus 2 and x minus 4 and we have solved paper 4 if you have liked the video please like it and uh, share it and do subscribe for because I'm going to solve many more questions and if you have any special questions which you are finding very difficult to answer let me know thank you for watching